Well, let's take a look at Azerbaijan now, where the government is set to lift some restrictions on Monday. Of the 1,600 cases recorded in the country, more than 1,000 people have recovered. Let's speak with the assistant to the president and head of the Foreign Policy Affairs Department, Hikmet Hajiev. He joins us now from the capital, Baku. So it's a pleasure to speak with you. Um, firstly, compared to your southern neighbor, Iran, Azerbaijan seems to have kept infection figures quite low. Um, why do you believe you've been successful in preventing a massive outbreak? And can you talk about the restrictions that will be lifted from Monday? Thank you. Good evening. And, and actually, Azerbaijani government has started taking the action since uh, mid-January. And it's because of the strategic vision demonstrated by my president and also risk assessment and threat perception that has been pursued uh, with regard to the COVID threat. And as a result of which, and uh, we can say that uh, Azerbaijan is in a better situation, one of the success stories in the fight against the COVID. Uh, as regards to the actions by Azerbaijani government, and uh, as everybody knows that, in the fight against the COVID uh, crisis in such pandemic situation, uh, government-wise coordination or national coordination is extremely important. And therefore, by the decree of the president of Azerbaijan in early February, a uh, national crisis response task force has been established under the cabinet of ministers to coordinate the actions of all appropriate government institutions. And, uh, of course, and quarantine measures are extremely important as well. And here I would like to share the unique experience of Azerbaijan because since the late uh, January and early February, we have started to take in quarantine all Azerbaijani or foreign nationals who are visiting Azerbaijan in special quarantine zones and fully provided by the government. And actually four uh, and five star quotas has been designated for that purpose. Now, everybody sees that asymptomatic persons can also cause for an infection. For that reason, uh, we have taken everybody to quarantine who are visiting Azerbaijan from abroad. And there was, then there was some follow-up actions have also been taken, especially uh, since mid-February, uh, certain restrictions have been applied. And in early March, uh, especially education institutions and especially schools have been uh, closed. And also social isolation measures have been uh, imposed. And special quarantine uh, regime since the uh, you know, end of the February has been applied. And also movement to the restrictions of the public have been applied. These are the specific areas that covers quarantine measures at the national level. And also health care system preparedness and response is also yet another important area that we put particular emphasis. In general, during the last 10 years, 750 hospitals and different medical institutions have been built and renovated in Azerbaijan. And also uh, allow me to share one figure, but during the last uh, months, actually three new hospitals in the region of, regions of Azerbaijan have also been rendered to the uh, use of Azerbaijan public. And new yet another hospital uh, with the 575 uh, uh, beds uh, have been rendered to the use of coronavirus patients. These are all measures to increase our uh, hospital capacity and in the meantime to increase a national hospital pre preparedness, including the intensive care units uh, number have also been increased. And as everybody knows, it's also recommended by the uh, WHO that testing is uh, crucially important, testing, testing, and testing. We have potentially uh, increased okay. our testing capacity. Yes, when okay. we started with a 300 testing, now we are covering actually 5,000 tests on a daily basis. Okay. These are all actions effectively contributed to the uh, success story of Azerbaijan. Okay, Mr. Hajiev, we really appreciate you taking time to speak with us. We have to go at this point in time, but hopefully we'll speak again sometime soon. Thanks again.